Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuang. Today we are going to learn about the ostrich. We are mainly going to talk about the African ostrich. Because in addition to the African ostrich, there is another ostrich-like bird, the American rhea. At first glance, these two birds look a bit alike, but they are quite different. For the African ostrich, let's talk about its characteristics first. It has soft hair all over its body, and there is some hair at the end of the tail. But most hair on its body is black, and the hair on its tail is white. This is a very striking combination of colors. But this pattern is only true for male ostriches. Female ostriches are generally brown with black spots. The male ostrich has another feature, which is its neck. The neck is long, which enables its head to turn flexibly. In addition, there is no hair on its neck except for a layer of short fluff, so its neck looks all naked. Its exposed skin is red. This is also an easily recognizable feature of the male ostrich. In addition, the ostrich's head doesn't look big, compared with its body, but its head is actually round. It has a large brain, so the ostrich is actually a smart animal. It has a flat mouth, which is a bit like a duck's beak, and it has two big eyes with long eyelashes on its eyes. The eyes of ostriches are the largest among birds, and also proportionally the largest among all animals. It has gigantic eyes. The eyeballs are gigantic. They account for a large part of the skull. It has excellent eyesight. The ostrich's vision is so sharp that it can see things a few kilometers away. The long neck of an ostrich is flexible. It also has a habit of burying its head in the sand. This habit is generally ridiculed by humans as a cowardly behavior because they believe that the ostrich buries its head in the sand to avoid danger. Actually, it is not so. The ostrich doesn't bury its head in the sand. It just habitually keeps its head close to the ground. Analysis shows that this behavior has several uses. One is to reduce the temperature of its head by getting close to the sand. Another is that it uses sharp hearing to observe whether there are enemies nearby. These are the two theories based on our current knowledge of the ostrich's behavior. But in fact, this behavior is not common in ostriches. More often, they raise their heads to look around. Then, although the ostrich is not a flying animal, not a flying bird, it still has huge wings. As it spreads its wings, we can see the long feathers. However, its feathers are not as dense as those of flying birds. Its feathers are loose. Its wings are a bit like to fluffy fans. Their main function is to swing and balance the body when a running ostrich turns. This allows it to turn without falling down. Another function is to lower the body temperature. The actions of tucking and spreading wings are like fanning a fan. Another important role is that the ostrich's feathers at the end are white after its wings open, which is a useful display to other ostriches in the same group like what a peacock does or a threatening stance when facing enemies. In addition, the ostrich has two claws on its forelimbs, just like Tyrannosaurus rex. On its wings, it actually has two nails, which look like the hands of a dinosaur. This is also a feature of the ostrich that is usually invisible. In addition, the hind legs of the ostrich are stout. Its thighs are thick and strong. The calf, or the calf plus the phalanx, are very long, allowing the ostrich to run at high speed for a long time. Its legs are powerful. It has only two toes at the end of its feet, and the inner toe is mainly responsible for bearing weight. The outer toe is tiny because it has degenerated and doesn't even have a toenail. Only the inner toe is strong and has a developed toenail. This is also a feature of the African ostrich, which has only two toes on its feet. The feature is different from the American rhea. The rhea has on its feet three toes, not so distinct toes. The thickest toe of the ostrich looks like a horse's hoof. This toe is excellent for running, which is also a powerful weapon. When an ostrich meets an enemy, it will kick with great strength. The ostrich's egg is also the largest egg among existing animals. Its egg yolk is also the largest known egg cell, a single cell. Sometimes they hatch the eggs, and more often, they have the eggs hatched by sunlight. 
In addition, ostriches have another interesting behavior when hatching eggs. Many ostriches gather eggs from different families and then entrust one ostrich, one like a kindergarten teacher, to take care of these eggs. As it does that, other ostriches will go and look for food to feed the whole team. This is also a clever habit of ostriches. They don't build nests, instead, their eggs are scattered. If they hatch together, they will gather the eggs. Although these eggs look almost the same in our eyes, each ostrich can clearly recognize its own eggs. Some ostriches can be mean when they act as kindergarten teachers. They will move other ostriches' eggs to the periphery. This is because the outer eggs can be easily stolen by other animals. But it will put its own eggs inside. When taking shifts and another group of ostriches come, the bad ostrich will move the eggs. This looks like a sneaky trick of the ostrich. But this action also helps the ostrich eggs to be heated evenly during flipping, because the sun always shines from above. Okay, the above is some information about the ostrich.